Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and the beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Liam is reprimanded by Finn for meddling with their marriage. Eric and Steffi drank coffee in the living room of the mansion. Eric was thanked by Steffi for allowing her to stay there. Eric wishes the situation was better. She and the kids were safe and welcome at any moment, he replied, adding that he would wait for Ridge's arrival to tell why she was there. When Ridge came, he said that his daughter had called him. Ridge and Eric, according to Steffi, needed to know what had transpired. I departed Finn. As soon as I could, I had to get the kids out of the house, Steffi said. She explained that it had been too risky, and she had to leave. Ridge inquired as to what had transpired, assuming Shayla was to blame. Later, Ridge inquired as to Finn's thoughts. Steffi said that Kelly was Oak, and that Finn had been shocked. Steffi revealed that Sheila had actually saved Kelly, not Finn, who had been unaware of Sheila's presence. The question, she was watching them? Ridge queried. Although Steffi didn't know, she found it hard to believe Kelly had been saved, by the woman who had nearly killed her and her loved ones. Sheila had been referred to as Finn's mother, and Steffi said Finn had requested her to be patient with her. Steffi claimed Finn had acknowledged a relationship with Sheila. Steffi couldn't live with it and didn't believe it would ever go gone. Eric expressed regret over everything that was happening but acknowledged how much he enjoyed having her and the kids live with him. Steffi retorted that she was at ease. She was safe there. Eric assured her, and he would see to it that she had all she required. Eric left to inform the employees of Steffi's intentions. During their embrace, Steffi shared her worries about what might have transpired with Ridge. Kelly was okay, according to Ridge, and Steffi had made the correct decision by relocating to Eric's. Ridge gave his daughter the reassurance that they would survive as a family. Steffi declined his offer to move in and assist, saying that she was all right other than her head spinning. Ridge affirmed that Finn would hear from him for not keeping an eye on Kelly while they were at the beach. Steffi recalled that Finn had hugged Sheila at the courthouse after Sheila was released, even if she had preferred not to say so in front of Eric. Ridge inquired as to how Steffi knew that, and she replied that Liam had followed Finn and seen what he and Sheila were doing in the hallway after sensing an odd vibe in the courtroom. Steffi said she wanted to believe in Finn, but Ridge questioned how she could justify it. Steffi admitted that Sheila will always be a part of their lives, and she didn't know how she was supposed to trust her husband. Ridge inquired as to what would follow. Finn was pacing around the cliff house while revisiting old memories. He remembered pleading with Steffi to stay. On his way to Paradise Cove, R.G. stopped by to pay us a visit. He inquired as to the whereabouts of Steffi and the kids, but Finn informed him that they had left. R.J., who was perplexed, said that Sheila was the reason the kids were kept away from camp. It had been the plan, Finn said. R.G. offered to assist Finn and Steffi with the kids until they could find a nanny. Steffi would have plenty of assistance at Eric's home, Finn said. Finn answered, Steffi took the kids and left. R.G. questioned why Steffi would act in such a manner. Because of Liam, Finn affirmed. Later, when R.G. found out what had happened to Kelly, he expressed his sadness and claimed Finn's responsibility had been to protect her. Finn admitted that Sheila had actually saved Kelly, not him. Finn charged Liam with fanning the flames and dissolving his marriage by utilizing Finn's birth mother. The memory of Steffi informing Finn about Liam's tape came to mind. Finn revealed to R.G. that Liam was out to get him and was attempting to sabotage his marriage. Liam was not allowed to get away with it by Finn. Wyatt expressed regret at Spencer about what had happened to Kelly. Liam inquired as to whether Wyatt was sorry that it had occurred or that Finn had allowed it to do so. Wyatt didn't want to consider what might have happened in the absence of Finn. Wyatt was corrected by Liam, who said Kelly had been saved by Sheila. When Wyatt questioned Sheila's presence, Liam remarked that Wyatt already knew the reason. Later, Wyatt claimed that while he was relieved Kelly was unharmed, 
this shown Sheila wouldn't stay away. Sheila was just released from prison in response, and she was already pursuing Finn and Liam's daughter. The kid's safety at Eric's was all that mattered to Liam. Sheila was drawn to Finn, according to Liam, and wouldn't give up after that hug. Liam claimed that he and Steffi were on the same page and that they had no intention of allowing that monster to get close to our family. Wyatt remarked on Steffi and Liam's united face and inquired as to whether Steffi agreed with Liam's sentiments towards Finn. Wyatt brought up the kisses he'd given Steffi to Liam. Liam said that they had a history together and that he still loved Steffi very much, but he swore he hadn't been attempting to disrupt the union. Liam claimed that it had only been an incident, and he had promised Steffi that he wouldn't repeat it. In response, Wyatt said that Steffi had abandoned Finn. Due to recent occurrences, according to Liam, everything was different, and Liam was totally committed to ensuring the safety of Steffi, Kelly, and Hayes. Wyatt retorted that Liam might secretly be aware of the possibility of seeing Steffi again. Later, Liam was by himself and beaming at a photo of Kelly. He had a thought and rummaged through a nearby cabinet. He produced the photo of himself, Steffi, and baby Kelly that he had taken on the day that they had brought Kelly home from the hospital. On top of the cabinet, he placed the framed photograph. Finn remarked, I know what you're doing, as he stood in the doorway. Since Finn couldn't, Liam surmised that Finn would say watching out for Liam's kid and her mother. Liam claimed Kelly nearly drowned because of Finn, despite Finn's claims that he could provide for his family. No one felt worse about it than Finn, he retorted. Finn was asked if he wanted Liam to thank his psychotic mother. Although Sheila had committed awful crimes, Kelly was still alive, according to Finn. Finn was reminded that Sheila had shot him and Steffi by Liam, who also questioned whether Finn could hear himself. Finn was standing up for Sheila and hugging her, according to Liam. Finn added as he shut the door that Liam had taken the tape and gone right to Steffi. Did you, you little puke, not do it? Finn claimed to be aware of Liam's desires. Liam retorted that he wanted Steffi to be knowledgeable so she could decide how to protect their child. It wasn't the only reason, yelled Finn. According to him, Liam's divorce did not give Liam the right to go back and pursue Finn's wife or meddle in Finn and his wife's relationship. Liam retorted that Steffi had at least taken the kids somewhere safe while Finn was handling it on his own. Finn retorted that he and Steffi were devoted to one another and would overcome challenges together. He said Liam had attempted to take advantage of his past relationship with Steffi, but she was with a real man. Liam was not allowed to meddle in Finn's marriage. Liam was told by Finn not to approach his wife. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.